Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain released last week and is one of the most critically acclaimed games of 2015 and in today's video I'll be showing you guys an unboxing of the collector's edition of the game and as well stick to the very end where I'll be giving away two copies of the standard version so hopefully you guys enjoy the video. This x-ray is on your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. So if you're able to check out my first three and a half hour part one of my Metal Gear Solid 5 walkthrough, you'll know that this is one of my favorite gaming franchises of all time. So obviously, I had to pick up the collector's edition for it. And I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys, but there's something that I also wanted to do is from now on, anytime I do unboxings of collector's editions of video games, I will actually be giving them a rating or score as well to give you guys a general idea of what I think about them. So you can kind of look forward to that in future unboxing videos as well. So we'll start off by taking the trusty unboxing knife here and we'll be moving the cellophane case and there's really nothing to the sleeve that you would expect but the box does come in this very cool leather-esque design i don't know i don't think it's actual leather but it's designed to look like leather so we peel off the outside here it's glued down and then we have what looks like it opens from the middle actually so it looks like we actually have to peel the dime dogs label off the front so let's do that and oh it opens like an accordion i see so we have a copy of the game here that comes in a regular box but we also have the steel book that is right here I will give you guys a closer look at that in a second. We'll move this one here. And then we have what looks like, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I almost forgot that inside the steelbook case, there's actually a bonus disc. And this bonus disc is really important because it contains the cutscene that was removed at the end of the game that kind of ties up the storyline a little bit better. And like I said, it was just cut from the end of the game. If you guys want to see that, that will be posted on my channel. And I will also be giving guys my impressions of why I thought it was cut and how I thought, thought that it probably could have fit in or not fit in with the game. So yeah, that will be in a separate video. And then we have the main item that you probably are buying this collector's edition for, which is the hand, the replica of Solid Snakes. Well, I guess it's not Solid Snake, it's Punished Venom Snake's hand in the game. And it's actually a bit smaller than I expected it to be, but I guess I should have known that from judging how big the box was, that it wasn't gonna be that big. Oh, gotta break this thing, don't worry, we can get a new hand later. Not. <laughs> There's some plastic around the thumb area, and at the bottom as well. This comes out here, and then the hand sets up right here. So, I will give you guys a 3D rotation of Snake's prosthetic hand. In terms of build quality, the hand does strike a very similar resemblance to the prosthetic arm that Snake uses in Metal Gear Solid 5. The, like I said, the arm is a little bit smaller than I had expected it to be but each finger does articulate at every single joint as you would find in a normal hand and as well the wrist. All right, so I guess that brings the end to the very brief unboxing of the Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain Collector's Edition. I also did an unboxing of the UK and Europe only Metal Gear Solid 5 branded PlayStation 4, so click the video in the top right hand corner if you want to check that out. And as well, like I said earlier, I did do a full walkthrough of the game as well, so you can find that in the description. And in terms of an overall score, I'd have to say 
I would probably give this collector's edition about a six and a half. I know it's a very low score, but there are some things omitted that I thought should be included. And even though the hand is pretty cool, um, I think that it should have been a little bit bigger so it could kind of stand out on a gaming shelf a little bit more. So I'd have to give it a very decent moderate score of six and a half. And if you guys want to win your own copy of the game, because I bought a game uh, early before release, and as well one was included in the Metal Gear Solid 5 console that I bought. I do have two extra copies for PlayStation 4, so if you want a chance to win one of those, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and retweet when this video goes live, and I will choose all the retweets and I will pick some randomly selected winners. The winners can be from anywhere around the world. I will ship it anywhere so long as you have an address. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck to those who follow me on Twitter. And as always, thank you and have a fantastic day.